Hello everybody, it's uh, time again for the daily review. It's a little bit late today, but uh, we're going to get it done. So anyways, we got a 750 reward. All the stuff here is the same. Don't do dr Draft Dominaria, it's not going to help you play. Uh, Premier Draft Corsa 2021, yeah, it's okay, but if it's still there, Quick Draft Theros Beyond Death, that's the one I would choose to play. Okay, or Jumpstart. Jumpstart's a lot of fun, and that's what I have been playing a lot. Um, so I've got a, actually quite a few decks, and actually I opened up an entire booster box of Jumpstart and only actually received like three doubles of um, packs, meaning like three of the same, exact same packs. Like I may have opened like Angels 1 and Angels 2, but like I only got like Feathered Friends 2 twice and two other same packs. Not the particularly good ones, and I didn't open a single Planeswalker one. Uh, but I did get a Crater Hoop Behemoth out of it. Nonetheless, um, those are all going into my Jumpstart Cube. Um, so yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. So anyways, let's continue on. I'm going to go to the Mastery. Then we'll hit the store. So Mastery Tree. Let's take a look. Alright, so one more. Alright, uh, Teferi's Ageless Insight. Great. Yay, alright. And then go to the store. All right, so I hate this card. All right, uh, anyways. Oh, oh my god. Okay, yeah, I mean, I hate the enchantments deck, this, like, shrines deck. It is such a pain in the ass to deal with. All right, and especially the Sanctum of All. Sanctum of All is one a card that, I, like, I don't know if it's necessarily ban-worthy, okay, but Sanctum of All just pisses me off. All right, um, and I'll show you why. Let's first of all, for those of you guys that don't know, um, let's go down to here. A lot of my stuff is nerfed now because of the recent bans. Okay, uh, but let's go look it up. Sanctum of All. All right, so Sanctum of All. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may search your library and or graveyard for a shrine card and put it onto the battlefield. So... Ho ho, look at that. Once again, it is free casting. So, wizards, you guys got to stop doing this, okay? Mana costs, it, mana costs are there to like to make to balance out the game. If you're not going to have mana costs, then like that's that is a serious problem. Like putting it into your hand would already make this super super powerful. Go look for a um, go look for a shrine and put it in your hand, but just put it onto the battlefield. Like that's freaking ridiculous. Right, especially because the shrines deck like draws cards. Like with the blue shrine, it draws cards equal to the number of shrines you control. Right, so like you're drawing all these shrines, and then you can look for the shrines that you specifically need to tap down your opponent, or or to to lock up your opponent, or you can look for the cards, or hold up your mana to tap down your opponent and and still keep playing. Right, so I mean the problem with this card is it's just constantly, um, it's just constantly. Uh, causing like, like allowing you to, to hold up your mana it's basically like a wilderness reclamation along with like a fires of invention except a fires of invention you at least have to play something in your hand right this one you can just look for like any of the cards you need in your deck and and just go get it this card is total bullshit and it should not be allowed right they need to like I, I don't think enough players are playing this to necessarily call for a ban, but this card is a bullshit, overpowered, stupid piece of crap card, right? So, anyways, gotta hate Sanctum. Like, anything that's free casting is a serious problem. Anyways, oh, that just triggered me. Okay, anyways, uh, that is it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.